Praise in every lover who ever stood alone beneath a window. And every jealous whispered word, and every ghost that will not rest. He's in every father with a favor, every eye that stops to linger on what someone else has got and starts to widen in distress. He's in every young man that grows boastful, every worn out elder drunk for days, muttering false prophecies and squandering their lot. He's in every complex misunderstanding that springs up between a group of friends and never seems to end, even when its beginnings are forgotten. He's in every girl who ever used her wits to outsmart the status quo. He's in every vain self admirer, every passionate, ambitious social climber. He's in every misheard word that ever led to tempers praying. He's in every pawn that moves across the board and still remains convinced that it's not playing. So you might think his words are ancient, you might think his words are dead, but chances are you've quoted him directly if you've ever said, oh, it sets my teeth on edge. Or there's a method in my madness, or pure as the driven snow. Or my hair standing on end, or all that glitters is not gold. Or I haven't slept a wink, or I wear my heart upon my sleeve. Or the beast with two backs, or the word puking, which is harder to believe. Or fighting fire with fire, or having too much of a good thing. You see, his pen was mightier than his sword. But still his words are like blades that sing our very names when they strike. Here's the milk of human kindness, up in arms, break the ice, his the green-eyed monster, his discretion is the better part of valour, and now his words with their arms around each other's shoulders swagger to the ends of their phrases, they're proud of everything they've done, of how his pages have lasted through the ages, of how he has become a poet whose poetics have embedded themselves so firmly in the fabric of our language, it's like he's in our mouths, his words have tangled down our own and given rise to expressions so effective in expressing how we feel, we can't imagine how we'd feel without them. He's less the tights and garters, more the sons demanding answers from the absence of their fathers, the hot darkness of a doomed embrace, the laughter of the night before, the tightened jaw of the morning after. He is in us, part and parcel of our royals and our rascals. He's not just something boring taught in classrooms in language that's hard to understand. He's not just a feeling of inadequacy when you sit for an exam. He's in every valiant woman, every pitiful villain, every sore loser, every great king, every fake tear. And his legacy exists and lives on in everything he's written. And if you listen, you will hear him everywhere. He's my Shakespeare.